subscribers, the lifeblood of your online business. Okay, so imagine this. Ah. So you're walking on the sidewalk, uh, just minding your own business. Then a, a, a salesman comes in, a stranger, and he offers, he tells you that he can teach you to earn, how to earn 1 million pesos in 90 days. Okay, so what's your first thought when that happens? Can you type it in the chat box? And the unang impression, what, what, would, what comes in your mind? Hesitant, yeah, fortune, scam, yeah, that's a popular answer. <laughs> same question, same question, but the next guy, he offers you the same thing, 1 million pesos in 90 days. He's going to teach you how to do it. You haven't met this guy before. You haven't interacted with him, and this is what he looks like. This is, I'm not sure if you're familiar with him. This is Jaza. He's Jaime Augusto Zabel de Ayala. So if he's the one who approached you on the sidewalk and offered you his, this service of teaching you how to earn 1 million in 90 days, what's your first thought? What are you going to do? Can you type it in the chat box? I, I'm curious of what's, what's your reaction when he's the one to approach you. <laughs> Take my wallet. <laughs> Join. Can be trusted. Right, right. So... It's basically the same situation. So what's the difference? What do you think is the difference between the two? Well, what's the, why, why did you feel more connected with him? Instead of running away, parang lumapit ka palalo eh. So what's the difference between him and the, the guy in the first picture? Yep, authority. That's right. Offer appearance. Appearance na guapo. Huh? <laughs> Background, okay. Of course, he's also, uh, even if we didn't, haven't met him, he is also a public figure. Actually, technically, he was also a boss of mine, pero siguro mga 15 levels ang difference namin when I started working before. Okay, so there's a lesson here. Okay, so we open our minds to people who we trust, right? So I'm sure if your best friend recommended something to you, compared to someone who you just met, you'll probably listen to your best friend. Because you know that he has your best intentions in mind. So let me ask you something. No? I'm sure all of us have someone close, either a friend or a close cousin or siblings. How did that friendship or bond build? Um, what would you say is, the important factor why you are close to that person. Sabi natin yung best friend mo. What's the one thing that made you um, click? Could you type it in the chat box? So why do you trust this guy? Same interest, right? Right? Okay, so so same interest, I guess commonalities. But one more important thing, no, is that when we develop relationships, it takes two things. It takes time, and it also often takes a lot of touch points. Like, mahirap naman sabi natin magkita kay ng isang tao, then you hit it off. You, you talk the whole day, the whole night, then di na kayo kita ulit, di ba? Even if you got connected, but once lang kayo nagkita, it's hard to call him your best friend, di ba? So it it takes you have to have time and constant contact in order to say that he is your best friend, you have a genuine, real connection and relationship. So that's why having a subscriber is very important. A relation is created through time, constant, and meaningful interaction. So how do you do that with a blog? Kasi normally, pag nagbivisit ang tao sa isang blog, unless you're an, sabi natin, for me personally, I often visit um, ESPN because I'm a sports fanatic. Right? Doon, lagi akong puwoy bisita. But there are some sites na once in a while ko lang pinupuntahan, but hindi ko alam how much I miss. Baka ang dami ko palang helpful na natutunan if if I knew what their content was. Diba? But I get, don't get notified, di ba? Busy, busy ang mga tao eh. Di ba? We, we, we only think, there's so much we can think of. Right? So, how do we nurture a relationship online 
online na may ganon, may time, may relationship factor na we get in touch with them often and for a long time. So that's where email marketing comes in. So we, we often see there's a lot of noise about social media. It's very important. Social media is very important, especially to get notice, right? To get traffic, to get leads. But it's personally for me, I believe it's the starting point of our relationship. It could be that. But if you'll notice, social media baingay. Diba? There's a lot of new stuff, a lot of new stuff happening. Even sa news feed, eh, just after a minute, may new stories na. Diba? Sa tweets, sunod sunod yung tweets. So it's hard to focus on one thing at a time. So I connect social media with a party. Diba? Ang ingay, ang daming noise. Diba? People in a party, parang they give the best version of themselves, diba? para mapansin. Parang ganun siya. But try having a real conversation sa party. Diba? Ang ingay-ingay, eh, mag- you could barely hear each other. Siguro, pwede kayo mag-meet doon, but eventually, you'll meet someplace, el- someplace else to to get to know each other better. And that's where email comes in. Because email, ito naman equivalent of having coffee with someone. Diba? Being intimate, well, not romantic intimate, but, you know, parang kain dalawa lang, you can build a connection. This is where real connection happens. Okay? So, and this is not something I made up. Email really gives the best ROI. Okay? So, let me show you some hard evidence of that. So, here's an, here's an article from Entrepreneur Magazine, and it lists down... Here we go. Seven statistics that prove email marketing still works. So this is from Entrepreneur Magazine. So first, the email marketing offers a staggering return on investment. So according to the Direct Marketing Association, it yields an estimated 4,300% ROI. So meaning, for every dollar spent on email marketing, you get $44 back. Now this is extremely high. Huh? I haven't have that kind of ROI, but it is the most um, profitable means of communication for me in my experience. Emails effortly, effortlessly nurture leads. This is what I was talking about. So, in constant contact over a prolonged period of time, it gives you, it builds rapport. Maybe not relationship per se, like a, in a with a person, but it builds rapport, rapport with someone. So you might be on an email list of another person, then you often see his name. Minsan nga, when you do it right, just the sight of your name, it regardless of what the subject line is, you'll open it. Maybe you could develop that sa readers mo. Pag makita nila yung name mo, when they see that name, ikiklik na nila automatically, especially if you nurture your leads, leads properly. And you don't have to convince them by saying a lot of things in order to convince them to buy something that you recommend, enroll in your workshop, buy your book, so that's how the power of emails work. Okay, and I'll show you specific samples on how to do this later on. So email marketing is simple enough for DIY small business owners. It's very useful, um, high return of investment, and something that could easily be done by anyone, even a one-man operation like mine. I do this part-time even, and this is one of the best assets of a part-timer who wants an automated business. Email marketing is the key. And hindi ito masyado pinag-uusapan actually sa Pinas. Rarely do you find email marketers here. Um, mas maraming sa social media, um, content marketing. But if you want to talk about real business, automated, this is the underground way of doing it. Yung behind the scenes. So email is not sexy, but it's profitable. Okay, so emails convert three times better than social media. Okay, and people actually like getting emails. 95% of people who sign up for a newsletter from a recognized brand consider the email useful. Okay, so ang goal natin here is to nakita natin stranger, di ba? And Mr. Jaza, Ayala Zobel, Ayala Zobel. Ang goal natin is to turn you into Mr. Ayala. Okay, so not necessarily as handsome as he is or as rich, but to be trusted by your audience. 
Diba? That's our goal. I showed you how the approach of blogging is, diba? We we our blog should should solve our audience's problem so that we could build authority, trust, and relationship. And yun yung essential qualities qualities that we have. That's why kilala na, that Mr. Ayala has. That's why when we see him, trust agad, di ba? Tayo pa nga mahihiya sa kanya, eh. parang tayo pa mahihiya lumapit. Di ba? So that's the kind of status that we want to have. Okay? So how do we do this? How do we nurture the relationship? How do we convert them from viewers to subscribers and to ba- customers and eventually believers, di ba? Um, ambassadors of our brand. So that's where lesson number four comes in. 